Welcome back to another episode of Junkin' with Junior. Bittersweet for me today. We've got a 1972 Yamaha 125 Enduro. So a uh, little bit of background on this bike. A customer came in the machine shop, had my dad machine out the cylinder, because when he was riding it back in the day, the uh, oil pump quit working because it's two-stroke oil injected pump. And it quit working, so he soft seized the piston, so had dad machine it out. Da -da 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 -da. Gets it all back together and it just sits. Classic story. <clears throat> dad passes away guy calls me up a few months ago at the shop and he's like hey uh phil senior was really wanting to buy this bike from me is that something that uh he's still interested in and i said well unfortunately phil senior's passed away and he's like oh man sorry to hear that i just couldn't believe it kind of beside himself and um i don't know we carried on the conversation and it ended and then the guy comes in the shop he says hey uh i still got that bike and i'm like all right i'm starting to you know think a little clearer at this point i said uh what do you want for that bike and he's like, I don't know, man, you know the deal. They always, you got more in them than they're actually worth and on and on. And I don't really want to sell it. I've had the thing since I was 16, but I know your dad wanted it. So I'd like for you to have it. I'm like, okay. So long story short, clearly it worked out. I've got the bike here. Um, pretty cool to have something that my dad, uh, you know, wanted so bad and that he did some work on himself. As luck would have it, wore my orange, short to, orange shirt to church today, matching the bike. Can't go wrong. So it's a real jewel uh it's gonna need a little bit of work to get it going um the gas tanks already had a liner put in it the owner told me um you know a lot of little stuff needs some cleaning up need to get the forks rebuilt um seals are blown out on that the uh apparent issue there is going to be the little bit of corrosion that you have on the forks themselves that's going to kill the seals as soon as it slides over that but a really clean bike gas tanks in great shape uh owner did have the uh, liner put in the tank see if we can get her open here there we go tank appears to be in really good shape inside now that's it's a little shiny in there it's not wet that's just the liner that he had put in it but we come up to the top side here 7,563 miles so the guy tells me he was riding this thing when he was 16 years old and he was riding it on the road and he wasn't supposed to and his stepdad took it from him locked it up chained it to a pole inside the shed and he hasn't had it for a long time. It was 20-some years he told me it sat in that shed. So, anywho, long story short, he wanted my dad to have it. My dad wanted it. Dad's not here, so the guy was uh, respectful and thoughtful enough that he wanted me to have it. And he's like, no, I'm not selling it to you if you're going to if you're gonna, you know, get it run and sell it and make some money. I said, no, sir, that's not the intentions. It's going to stay right here. So, uh, we'll get it together and, you know, get it going, ride it a little bit, and, you know, just have some fun with it and another memory of keeping my dad around okay so i can't help it the gearhead in me is gonna put some gas in this thing and see if it'll pop or do something now one thing that i do know is the customer or excuse me previous owner did have some issues with the oil injection pump uh so i'm not 100 percent sure about that so for now we're going to put some mixed gas in it so we know that we don't stick this piston but i want to just put a little bit of gas in it and see if it'll pop or do something for us <laughs> Well, we have to accept defeat for today. Bike had spark earlier and uh, couldn't get it started by kicking it, so we thought we'd pull it behind the lawnmower. That didn't work neither. So, um, cylinders actually was starting to get a little bit of heat in it, so I felt like it was trying to fire occasionally, but I uh, wasn't having any luck, so I came back, put a new spark plug in here, kicked it over, no spark. We've lost spark somewhere. There's a couple of questionable ground wires under the seat there, so we're gonna have to dive into this at a later date. Don't really have the time currently. So we're gonna put this dude in the AC storage and uh, let it sit till we have time to put some hours into it, diagnose it, figure out what's actually going on with it. May even go ahead and order a new uh, coil and wire harness, just so everything's 100%, but that's it for now. We'll get to hear it and run at a later date. Thanks for watching Junkin' with Junior. We'll see you next time.